Will Smith, one of Hollywood's biggest stars, has been rocked by a bombshell revelation. His long-kept gay secret has finally been exposed, and his reaction was explosive. In an expletive-laden outburst, Will Smith exclaimed, I'm F.C. Ked. I'm with Puff, and he's in the exotic bookstores, and he's doing shopping. He's taking things off the shelves and stuff like that. So there's one part he picked up uh, some things from up here on my left side, and then he, he picked like a, quite a few of them down. I'm like, yeah, okay. He put them in the bag. So when I went by there, and I looked up there, I, and it said butt plugs. Later on that, I think that afternoon, this rapper and him, they all in the room together. Yeah, yeah, that picture there, that, they was at that party that day. Yeah, it's just like a bunch of weird that whole Yeah, that's weird, dude. Yeah, bunch of, uh, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not no gay bastard or nothing. I mean, none of that shit, that shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? That, shit, that whole party was weird old out. Get ready for the shock of your life as we delve into the truth behind Will Smith's gay secret. Will he finally embrace his sexuality and come out of the closet, or will he do everything in his power to keep his secret hidden? Join us as we unravel the drama. Hey, Paul, come on, stop that. I was wondering if I could fuck you. Man, I don't do things like that. Well, rumors about Will Smith being gay is nothing new. It all started with the release of the classic comedy drama Six Degrees of Separation, where Smith played a charming con artist. The movie was making waves, but the buzz took a sharp turn when a kiss scene between Will and co-star Anthony Michael Hall was mysteriously cut from the film and that's when the speculation began. Was the superstar actor trying to avoid drawing attention to his own sexuality by avoiding the kiss? The rumors have been persistent and the truth remains elusive. Not only that, in a 2020 interview, Will contradicted his previous claims about not being fully committed to the role and claimed he went full method for six degrees of separation. So I did method acting on six degrees of separation. And essentially method acting is when you submerge yourself for extended periods of time, confining yourself only to the thoughts of the character, right? So at a stretch when I was doing six degrees of separation, I took nine days without breaking character. Recently, Tisha Campbell alleges that Will Smith was having relations with her ex-husband, Dwayne Martin. She published an Instagram post with an image that read, the truth always comes out in the end, no matter how hard anyone tries to hide it. While vague in itself, she also wrote in a comment, and you're right, they will lie till the end. The real kick is, people will stop believing them. Conclusions were jumped and many cited her capitalization of Will as a subtle jab at an alleged affair between Smith and Martin who are best friends. Not only that, YouTuber Trisha Paytas also accused Will Smith of sexually manipulating her male dancers. In the video, she says, How about worry about your fucking cheating husband fucking my male dancers, you know, when they didn't want to? How about talk about that? Well, well, being gay is nothing new, as before the late actress Alexis Arquette passed away in 2016, she claimed that Will Smith's ex-wife, Sherry Zampino, divorced him because she caught Will in bed with another man. According to Daily Mail, Arquette wrote in a since-deleted Facebook post, when Jada comes out as gay and her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked into him, servicing his sugar daddy Benny Medina. Then I will listen to them. At that time, interestingly, Jada, who is known for being very outspoken about her Oscars boycott, didn't say a word about Alexis's post. On the other hand, Will also stayed silent on the allegations, but the only person to speak out was Will's first wife, Sherry Zampino. She called out Alexis over her malicious and reckless comments, and she claimed that Will isn't and never has been gay. Not only is it out of line, it's absolutely not true. And I'm offended and I'm hurt that someone would be so malicious and, and, and just reckless and destructive and use a lie and an untruth to prove a point. I don't know what you were trying to do, recruit out and Will was straight in 2000, uh, excuse me, 1992 and he's straight in 2016. So, you know, that, that just kind of is what it is. At that time, many fans felt Sheer was overreacting with her response. 
Instead of simply dismissing the claims as silly, she took a firm stance, which left many curious if Alexis had struck a chord with her words. Not only that, for years, rumors have abounded that Jada is a closet lesbian and both Will and Jada have kept their down-low relationship open. It might be the reason why Will and Dwayne's longtime friendship has tongues wagging, suggesting they are involved in a bromance. According to Star, Will and Dwayne have taken too many vacations together that include trips to Sin City, Las Vegas, Miami, and supposedly a private cruise in Trinidad while Tisha and Jada sat at home. An eyewitness claims that the pair dined at a Trinidad eatery and that it was clear Will and Dwayne both arrived and left together. Another source swears that Jada hates that Will is taking him on exotic vacations while she's sitting home alone. She allegedly can't stand his relationship with Dwayne and feels that he flaunts it in her face. Things are getting to a point where there has been countless speculation over the past year that Will and Jada's 14-year marriage has run its course. Not only that, now a source allegedly told Star Magazine that the union is in fact completely fractured and that the more time Will spends with Dwayne, the more strain he places on his marriage to Jada. Well, the question still remains the same, will the rumors continue to rage between Will and Dwayne? After some time, comedian Burt Kreischer added more fuel to these rumors when he appeared on Vlad TV and described how he got an offer to audition for Will's company which led to an awkward meeting with Will. And he liked me. He liked me. He was like, let's go see a movie. I was like, okay. <laughs> you guys went to a movie. Not only that, Bert said Will invited him to go see a movie and his dad warned him that Will probably had other plans. Bert also went on to talk about how a lot of illicit men in Hollywood have this fantasy of turning young boys. And this brings us to Will's alleged partner in crime, Diddy. Just like Will, Diddy has been the subject of gay rumors for years, but the really disturbing part is the story about his flavor camp, where Diddy allegedly brings his young music Portuguese. One of these young men is Usher, who was just 14 years old when Larit sent him to live at Diddy's house. But that's not all. In a recently resurfaced interview with Kevin Hart, Diddy let it slip that he and Usher used to sleep in the same bed. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real, we used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early. <laughs> yo, what the f*** did Puff just say? Nobody's gonna acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes and we're streaming live. Well, it's no secret that alcohol can sometimes loosen the tongue and lead to more candid moments. While Diddy may have been under the influence, that doesn't necessarily discredit the validity of his statement. In fact, it makes it more likely that he was being truthful. Not only that, Diddy's ex-bodyguard Jean Deal said that Puff was often as sexually fluid and once took exhibit to a gay club. He also told that he had seen Diddy engage in homosexual acts, saying, I know that for a fact because I was right there. He said, yo, Jean, watch the door and don't let nobody come through. I said, I'll watch the door and while I watch the door, he and a man ran out naked, he said emphatically. I'm telling you what I saw. Even fans now believe that Diddy likes men. One of them tweeted, Diddy is gay period no debate. Well, what's also interesting is that Jaguar Wright recently accused Will and Jada of doing something similar to Puffy's flavor cap in their home. Not only that, Jaguar also claimed that Will and Jada's kids Willow and Jaden must have witnessed all kinds of crazy stuff in their house, which is probably why Jaden wanted to emancipate himself when he was just 16. And, and once again, I hate saying these things because their children are dope. But Jaden's kind of MIA. And considering that he emancipated from their household at 16 and refused to come back, even to do family interviews, you know? Yeah. Willow's just kind of... She's dope. I just, too much happened in that fucking house. Too much happened in that fucking house. And meanwhile, I go to jail for defending my child and these don't even get a CPS fucking visit for the kind of they, they kids see. Now, on top of all this, rumors are starting to circulate that Will and Diddy are known for throwing huge gay parties where other Hollywood actors who are on the DL can go do whatever they want. Recently, Keith D claimed that he actually witnessed one of these events back in the day and he said the whole thing was so weird it looked like an Illuminati ritual. Jada Pinkett and Will Smith, you told me before that she was at a party before that they attended and you said the party was weird? It's like Vivica Fox was with this big gay man, he was 6'9", they called him, his name 6'9". He had the red hair with a big old booty and shit. No, he was gay and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? It's just a lot of, a lot of weird shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? I should. Well, being gay is still okay according to today's norms, but Will Smith's weirdness with the same sex is totally on another level. Even Adam22 agrees with it as he said, that Will Smith is a little weird. 
well, it's just weird so how did Will react to all these allegations about him being gay? And what's more interesting is that Will was scheduled to appear as a surprise performer at the 2023 Grammys but in the end, he didn't show up. Fans are now speculating that maybe Will decided to pull out of the Grammys because of all these rumors flying around about him being gay or maybe Will probably wants to lay low until the dust settles because he can't risk getting any more negative publicity. Not only that, some of the fans believe the recent emerging rumors, I think these stories are absolutely true. Another added, for some reason I believe this. Well, others are not happy with Diddy living under the same roof with a 14-year boy, commenting, I know this was about Will and Diddy, but damn, where the hell were Usher's parents at? Why would they let him stay at this man's house at such a young age? That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.